Hello everyone and welcome back. Meet Department here. I'm so glad you could join me for another video today. So we are in Dungeon Fall. Been grinding since the hideouts update came out. Pretty much grinding a lot. As well as playing Giant Simulator as many of you know as well. So we did a very special thing here today. And boy am I excited to continue that. But first I want to show you as you see we're rocking the limited time 5k subscriber t-shirt so this is available in meet department roblox group if you search meet department you'll see the youtube logo on there the group's made by my main meet department nine go ahead and join the group and within that store we are selling this limited edition meet department fan 5k youtube subscriber special shirt it's only going to be available the month of march then it's going off sale so it's kind of a commemorative collector's item piece. So hopefully down in the future when we're a little bit more, you can look back if you own this and be like, I remember when Meat Department hit 5K. And I think that's just something special. So we'll probably plan on doing this throughout our career here, building up on YouTube. And I think it's just something for the old school fans to really have an opportunity to hold a piece of history with them something that'll bring back memories and all that good stuff. So I'll put the link in the description below directly to this item. Again, it's only available in the month of March. So just wanted to blast that out for you. But why we're here today is to celebrate finally getting rank one on the stages leaderboard in Dungeon Fall. So it has been a long, long battle, long grind. And oh my goodness. So I finally got, as you see, level 728. And that is currently actually tied with Gorha, which is on the top. But when I did ding over to 728, it shifted me over as the new crown king. So there it is, right there. Stage reached, meet department DF on one. So I don't know if you saw the teaser I threw out uh, a few days ago. It was a really short teaser, like 45 seconds set to go in towards the top or something like that. Uh, you should check it out, find it. It's one of those YouTube shorts. So today, what we're going to do to wrap up the video is we're going to get level 729, do our best to get 729. So it's an official rank one slot, not tied for rank one, which it technically is right now. So we'll do that. So let's go jump down here first and see if we get lucky with a pet. Of course, the thing comes up right when I'm about to go down. Man, this shirt look, is looking crisp, though. Look at the detail. I love it. Love it. So we got some pets to collect. As you see, I'm using one of my sparks and one of my fens right now. And the reason I'm using a fen instead of double spark is because this fen in particular has... Uh, it's got better pet attack than my other spark had. So, unfortunately, nothing great out of there. We'll slap some more hearthstones down and let those babies incubate. We'll go back up to the top, so I'll show you. Uh, oh yeah, I have my gear here. I'll show you my stats and all that stuff before we get going and finishing this up. So as you see, time played, 31 days, 22 hours, almost 32 days on this game. Incredible amount of time. A lot of that actually was in the, the open beta for the game, not the closed. But when the game first released, spent countless hours on that. Um, so as you see, I hatched 552 eggs, 516 rebirths, yada, yada, yada. I'm actually on the egg patch one as well. And that's currently number eight at 552. So I haven't done any crazy uh, openings like some of the, the top three have. Those are insane. Probably won't ever be up there because I'm not going to be opening that much or buying diamonds or anything weird like that to get up there. Um, so there's that show you the pets right now what i currently have check it out i've got two sparks a total of 12 fens whole bunch of shinies actually got some stuff that's not shiny get out of there so i got a lot of shinies along the way i think the only shinies i'm missing are the legendary shinies and the target dummy and all these fens so this fen's got 465 attack power this one we got 504, so it's better than the Sparks, which is 416. And just to be uh, transparent with you and show you the stats, this is what I, I accumulated all my stats into so far. 
I went extremely heavy on the pet damage because I knew that when it got to this point of actually grinding level after level, I'm going to have to rely on my pets to do the dirty work. Like you've seen in many of the other videos in the past, uh, the pets do the dirty work. Uh, so that's what we had to do for a lot of levels here, actually. That's what we're probably going to have to do to get level 729. So let's go ahead and slap this gear up. My initial, though, build was actually an all-nature. That's why they're all-nature weapons and rings. It was a nature build. And that was for healing. Okay, there we go. To get the elemental nature bonus of plus 80% to the healing. But that only lasted so far until I hit that wall in which I had to start kiting around with the pets. So, restack things up and we have 119% pet damage. The rest of it pretty much doesn't really mean much um, at all. I don't even know if critical strike, if I had it, would apply to pets. It might, it might not. Not something I'm really actually aware of. Uh, but that's what we're working with right now. So we're actually looking pretty sick in all this neon green gear. I actually love it. That nature gear is awesome. So we're ready to rock it. We're making new strides ahead. We're going to dive in. I'm just going to show you. I think I get one shot by the boss still. I'm pretty sure I get one shot by the boss. The Bounty Hunter L23 level 728 has 2.91 AI. Yeah, he wrecks me. <laughs> so I can't get hit by it. I'm going to have to rely on the pets. So basically the strategy here is to go down, summon boss, let them come up to you and just kite them around. Just like we did in the other videos. If you've seen my previous videos when I um, showcase certain stages, uh, this is pretty much it. You pretty much got to kite the boss around because you cannot go near it or get hit at all. So it is kind of a grueling process. It's definitely not fun. Um, it's not something you want to do a ton of, but I mean, as you see, it's barely taken down. So this is probably going to take like five or so minutes, six minutes even get it down and if i get hit one time uh well i'm sol so yeah that's pretty much it just run them around as you see the pets are doing the dirty work they're doing it very slow but they're doing it and that's really all that matters so that's why i put the fen on plus i really like the way the fen looks uh so i'm glad i actually had the opportunity to use one um that's pretty cool i like that and earlier today, actually, someone in the server got a legendary shiny fan. So they were super lucky. Congratulations to them, for sure. Um, but yeah, this is it. So I'm probably going to give a little fast forward now. And we'll zip through this at the very end. We'll take him down. As long as I don't get hit, this should be a, a win to get the official rank one uh never before achieved level up to this point so i'm pretty excited so i'll see you in just a few seconds all right so we're getting back to the end here and bam down as you see, nice force blade, good stuff. So there it is, level 729, looking beautiful. Let's go ahead and unequip this stuff. Bam, good job Spark and Fen, we're tearing it up. All right, let's go check the leaderboard out. So it wasn't the most glamorous, but hey, strategy is a strategy and whatever works, works. This is something I identified early on in the game, shared it with you all, and I know many of you have used it to squeak in a few extra levels once you hit that wall, because really this game, you basically grind up, rebirth, skill up with the upgrades, and then you eventually hit a wall, just boom, right in the face. It overpowers you. And you need to skill up even further to get past that wall. This pet strategy technique is just something that will help you squeeze in a few extra levels to really boost yourself up a little bit um, in terms of just raw power. It's a little slow, but strategy works, and it works well. So let's check it out. There it is. Official. 729. So Gorhal will probably come around 
Uh, he probably just hasn't been on much, and he might pass me. Uh, he may not. Uh, but he came on strong and held that number one spot for a long time. So good job on that. But we finally caught up at least to a point where we, you know, can get the number one spot ourselves. Um, I grinded for a long time since the hideouts came out. Uh, so that's it. Happy to see that. I don't know how long that's going to last. All right. So sure enough, sure enough, as I predicted. The leaderboard was going to move in response to me taking the crown and I had to fight my way back up to the top for at least a little bit longer. So I figured, hey, because I haven't released this video until now, I may as well put up a little bit more of a fight and keep rank one just a tad bit longer, but I don't think it's gonna last very long. So uh, as you see, look, I'm already level 737 now. Um, Gorha 735, Wizard 727. So been moving up a lot i held the top one spot for like just over a half a day and then these two decided to start shooting up too as well so gorhan did retake it for a little while then i caught back up and retook it and you know by the time you see this he may very well be back up in the first place spot right there um but it's all right just wanted to to do a little more grinding and, and get back up there at least for a little while while this video released um so technically i got rank one two or three times i guess already in dungeon fall if you want to say that so that's it just wanted to show you that now the new level 737 already and the leaderboard will keep going up i don't know how long i'm gonna keep uh playing around to try to hold number one um but it was fun for now so that's all all right, back to the rest of the video. It is a goal down, a goal achieved, and it feels good to finally get it. You always imagine, what if I'll get rank one, and hey, there it is. So it feels good. One goal down. Awesome. So keep on sharing the tips with you along the way. So that's really all I had for today. That's exciting <laughs> news right there, just getting rank one stage and having it uh, up there on the board with the crown on your head. Looks looks really really cool so i know we got some people scaling up the top 10 has been moving and i'm sure in no time people will surpass and i will be dethroned but i'll enjoy it while it lasts like always you get the top of the leaderboard it doesn't last very long but it's a good time when you're there so i hope the tips were helpful and if you stuck with me this long i really want to thank you to all my subscribers and non-subscribers out there again the shirt i'm wearing is available for the month of march I will put the link in the description below. It's limited time celebration shirt of us achieving 5,000 subs on the YouTube channel. That's all links to my subscribers here. So for those of you who haven't subscribed and liked the video, seen them before, please subscribe and smash that bell for notifications so you are informed when I release new videos. So until next time, stay positive, keep swinging, and have a great rest of your day. Bye bye